polish friends it's al my pal and i do wear test polish videos to see how good the formula is and how long it lasts for today i'm going to be wearing and testing out orly's le chateau which is a dark green cream it's one of their older polishes that they brought out you can still purchase it but it's a lot cheaper than the newer ones it's still five free vegan and cruelty free and i'll explain what that's all about when i do my manicure underneath that i shall be using the zoya jelly cure system and also the orly bonder base so let's go ahead and do my manicure and i'll see you in the next bit Okay, so I'm going in with the first coat. Oh, it's a lovely dark tealy colour. It's very, very dark. Um, although, I have to say, it is a bit sheer as well. Um, now, what I'm going to do is try and not get it near my cuticles or right near my skin and leave a gap around the edges because it's so dark, it will stain my nails if I don't wear it the proper base coat etc which I'll tell you about in a second um, now the brush is quite a very thin brush which is good to be honest because this polish um, because it is so dark at least you can place it properly uh, on the nail and you don't make too many errors like I do and I sort of paint my skin as well as my nails um, yeah, it's very, very sheer. It, um, you can't get away with one coat. It's a nice formula. Um, it's just like, uh, yeah, it's a nice formula. It's going on really nicely. Um, and now I'll explain to you what the 5-3 means. Um, that means that it's free from five of the most potentially harmful chemicals that are found in nail polish. Um, and unfortunately, some companies still do this. I suppose it's cheaper for them to, to manufacture. Um, the vegan means it has no animal derivatives at all in it, which is really good. Um, and the cruelty free means it's not tested on animals at all. So all in all, I think all is a great brand. Um, it is going on extremely well. Although I have got the Orly Bonder base underneath. Now this has got a sticky coat so that your nail polish will adhere better to the base. So in theory, it will chip less. And I have used it a few times and it, especially on some of the texture polishes, and it has actually worked really well. Um, we'll see how it works on this polish. As I said, it is an older polish. Um, you still can purchase it. All the polishes I review, you can purchase still. Um, so we'll see how we get on. And the Orly Bond base is six free, vegan and cruelty free. Oh, this is a this is, I suppose my little finger, that's the hardest. I don't know why, we're nearly done. And then I can go on to the second bit of my manicure. And that's very nice actually. It's a little bit streaky on the first coat, but I'm sure it'll even out. So that's one coat of Le Chateau. And I'll see you in the next bit. Okay, so that dried reasonably quickly and you can actually see it's green. Well, it is extremely dark. Um, I think it would look black in sort of evening time, but it is really nice. Um, and it's the second coat's going on extremely nicely. Um, there's no streakiness on the second coat and it is completely opaque, but what I've noticed you have to really go over the first coat properly because you can actually see like the bits of green underneath but I suppose at least that can show that it is a green polish um, now underneath this polish I've also got the all the um, sorry the Zoya jelly cure system and that is a demi gel which means it's a gel 
you cure it under a lamp but you can take it off with nail polish to remover and it comes off really really easily um i have had it lasting for up to three weeks and you put a serum on your nails first and then you put a base coat on and that's tem free and then over the top you put the jelly cure system the, the jelly cure over the top and it's made my nails really really strong it acts like a sort of shield for your nails especially in the winter time uh in this country where the weather's not very good and it does it does affect my nails anyway uh, makes them a bit dry and brittle so that's a good thing now also another tip is when you take this polish off is if there are any stains left behind if you use a whitening toothpaste and a toothbrush um, and it just gets off the remainder of the stains that's because they're like little granules in the toothpaste so I had to move that because my polish is falling off the table um, yeah there's there's granules in the toothpaste that are abrasive and it works a treat it really does so that's two coats of Le Chateau and I shall put a nice top coat on and I'll get back to you hopefully in a week's time to see how I get on. This is two coats taken in natural light. Okay, my thoughts. First of all, the jelly cure, it stood up really well. Um, this is the first use I've had of it. And I only had to redo one nail, which was my index finger, which I use that a lot. Um, secondly, removal. Now I took this off yesterday and as you can see, I don't have any stains at all on my nails, which is really good because it was such a dark colour. Uh, bearing in mind, I did have the jelly cure system on and I had the base coat on underneath and the polish just slid off when I took it off. Um, and the polish, it lasted a week. I did actually do the tips during the week. I just put the polish on the tips there and I added another top coat but it really worked and you couldn't even see where I'd done it. Um, and it was a gorgeous color. You could tell it wasn't black, um, but it, and in some lights you could actually see uh, the green as well, the dark green. So all in all, it was a gorgeous color. Uh, I definitely purchased again, purchased it again. And it is a very cheap color to buy because it is one of the older ones. So all in all, yeah, it was a really, really great polish, lovely formula, um, and that's that. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And for more of my wear and test polish videos, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.